Hey everyone, my name is Will. Welcome to Room and Goods. So mostly everything has been leaked out about the Oculus Quest 2. You know, Facebook really needs to get some lessons from Apple to limit some of these leaks unless these were actually planned leaks from Facebook themselves. But anyways, the upgraded Oculus Quest 2 promo videos has leaked out. The specs of the headset is so far very impressive, specifically the chipset which is a lot more powerful than the original Oculus Quest specs. So now we're wondering why is it $100 cheaper than the original Oculus Quest if the Walmart prices that recently leaked out are actually true. So the new Oculus Quest 2 is perhaps $100 cheaper than the Quest 1, but we won't have full confirmation of the price until Facebook Connect. But before we get into why it's actually cheaper, let's quickly look into the specs of the Quest 2. Now, if you haven't seen the promo video that just got leaked, I'll put a link in the description. So according to Facebook's promo video, the Quest 2 will have a Snapdragon XR2 chip versus the Snapdragon 835 chip that is in an original Oculus Quest, which basically means the resolution and performance is much improved. Here's a quick look at the chart comparing the two chips. So as you can see, things like CPU performance is two times better, video is four times better, and displays is six times better. Also note that the XR2 chip allows up to 7 cameras, but as of right now, the Quest 2 has 4 cameras which leaves 3 more cameras left. Perhaps those 3 cameras allows Facebook to maybe experiment with tracking your eyes, mouth, and maybe legs. And of course they have to introduce more cameras into the headset in the future. So Facebook Reality Lab may be looking into that especially with what they're doing with Kodak Avatar that has the capability of showing off a lifelike avatar. Now the video has mentioned that it will push 50% more pixels than the original Quest and it will be nearly 2K per eye which makes it highest resolution of, of all Oculus headsets. As of right now there is no confirmation of the type of display although some reports have speculated it may run on a single panel with approximately 3840 times 2160 pixels however there is confirmation from the promo video that the quest 2 has been bumped up to six gigabytes of ram over the original quest with four gigabytes of ram that will help improve the overall vr experience now i'm not too crazy about the straps because it reminds me a lot like the oculus go straps we are all hoping that it will be more comfortable but they have not mentioned about the size or weight of the quest so if the Walmart price listing that has been leaked back in August is true with the two different models which was a 64 gigabyte priced at 299 US dollars and 256 gigabytes priced at 399 US dollars then we gotta question why the Quest 2 is $100 cheaper than the original Quest when the Quest 2 is obviously a lot more powerful. Is Facebook eating the cost with each purchase of the headset and will they make that money somewhere else? Here's a couple reasons why I think they might be making the headset more affordable. So by making the Quest 2 cheaper, it will obviously help get more people into VR. As I've mentioned previously, more people in VR means more attention, more attention leads more advertising, which can eventually lead to purchases. I have compared this to TikTok. Applications like TikTok has advertising now because of the attention that the platform is receiving. So for example, if more people are inside Facebook Horizon, you'll eventually see ads, but Facebook needs more people engaged in VR to get that attention. Once there is a substantial amount of attention, retailers will start paying attention and eventually pay for the media or virtual spaces on the applications like Horizon or even in a game where developers will also get paid. Now Facebook won't just show any type of advertising because it would be very annoying to you and inefficient for Facebook. It's going to be targeted advertising. Therefore they will be using data to target specific ads to you by using things like your VR headset along with what you search online like from the Oculus store or on your Facebook page as a gateway or a portal to your data. It will be especially interesting if they add more cameras into the headset because as I mentioned before the chip has the capability of supporting seven cameras. Each camera can serve as a data point like eye tracking for example. Now as you know they are requiring you to sign up for a Facebook account once you purchase a new headset and that's one way Facebook can keep track of consumer behavior. Now if you want to see what they have actually collected about you so far, you can go to Facebook's page and go to settings and you can actually see what data they have actually collected about you. Also they can make it easy for you to purchase items or services through the app since they probably have your credit card information, especially if you purchase games or various apps. 
And of course, through purchases, it serves another data point about the individual. Because through your purchases, it will show where your interests are and perhaps predict what products you may like or even services that you may like. So how much is our data worth plus the headset? Does that equal $399? I think Facebook will definitely make up the money in the long term and even more with our data through the use of the VR headset, by our movements, our in-app purchases, what we say or look at if one day they introduce eye tracking in the headset. So essentially, I do feel we are paying more than $399, but just through our data. Now, here's an interesting quote from Business Insider that sums up pretty nicely about Facebook and advertising. Quote, indeed, Facebook makes money through advertising. Facebook doesn't provide data to advertisers. It does the work for them. And here's how Mark Zuckerberg explains it in his own words about that as well. Quote, what we allow is for advertisers to tell us who they want to reach. And then we do that placement. So if an advertiser comes to us and says, all right, I'm a ski shop and I want to sell skis to women, then we might have some sense because people share skiing related content. And then we can show the ads to the right people without that data to ever changing hands and going to the advertisers, end quote. So basically, Facebook does the research about the audience and has provided the tools for the marketers or the sellers to target the advertising. And that's how Facebook monetizes our data. Lastly, I just want to quickly mention accessories. What if Facebook opened a larger online accessory store where they can possibly provide an option of changing maybe your head straps to more of a premium head strap where it can provide better comfort for your VR headset, similar to when HTC Vive provided a deluxe audio strap. Or perhaps Facebook can give us a selection of premium floating headphones that are attached to our headset besides using an earpiece. So as you can see, there's different ways they can make up for any lost revenue. So basically, if Walmart prices are true, it appears they are thinking long term and probably be using the VR headset as a portal or a gateway to our data to eventually lead to monetizing our data. But they need more people in VR, so they need to push an even more affordable VR headset to get VR to the masses. Similar to what Amazon does, if you look at Echo devices, they are inexpensive and Amazon may be eating up the cost for each device that is purchased, but it can serve as a portal that can lead to more online purchases. After all, more convenience leads to less friction and it can eventually lead to better purchasing experiences for the consumer. So that's the end of the video guys. Facebook Connect will be today, September 16th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it will be officially streamed on Facebook Live and Oculus Venue. And that's when we can finally find out the official price of the VR headset. As always, if you like the video, press the like button and consider subscribing. Talk to y'all later.